Back in December 2021, I did a video comprehensively running through all the best plasterboard fixings on the market. Now, hidden nearly 25 minutes into that video was a section talking about what fixings work best in insulated plasterboard. I get asked this question a lot and I suspect a lot of you won't have got that far into the video. So today's video is tackling this very subject. I'm going to run through five fixings that I think will work well. I'm going to put them to the test in a piece of insulated plasterboard and we're going to see how they get on. So these are the fixings I've selected for this challenge. We've got the Fisher Duo Power 8x40mm, the Multifix Stella M5x80mm, the Hollow Wall Anchor M5x52mm, the T-Bolt supplied with M5x30mm and 50mm screws, and the Bullfix. The Bullfix comes in two sizes, Universal and the Bullfix Extra that has a larger wing. I'll be using the Universal today. For this challenge I'm using an offcut of foil backed plasterboard and 100mm thick PIR insulation board left over from a recent project. I mark out the board with five fixing points, clamp it to my old Black & Decker workbench, make it secure with some quick grip clamps and we're ready to go. First up we've got the Fisher Duro Power 8x40. It needs an 8mm diameter drill bit and you want to use a 4.5 or 5mm diameter width screw. I typically power the screw most of the way in with a drill driver and then do the last few turns with my manual screwdriver as you don't have enough feel for when the screw is properly tightened if you use a drill or impact driver. Next up we've got the Multifix Stella which I was really impressed with in my last vid with its metal nut inside the fixing. We need a 10mm diameter drill bit for this. The Stella requires a Torx head bit which I love as it's far superior to PosiDrive minimising any chance of the screw bit coming out of the screw head. With the metal nut and the fixing, I can confidently drive this most of the way home with my drill driver and again finish off the tightening with my manual screwdriver. We're now on to the M5x52mm hollow wall anchor, one of my favourite fixings over the years. Again we need the 10mm drill bit for this and I'm going to use my anchor setting tool to tighten the fixing behind the plasterboard. You can instead use a manual screwdriver Link to my video on this coming up on screen now. If you tighten it manually, just make sure you have the bracket in place as a turning stop before you tighten the bolt. Next up we've got the T-Bolt, which I think is one of the cleverest designs out there. For this we need to use the 16mm spade bit provided, which produces a lovely clean cut in the plasterboard. I start off the bolt with my hand just to make sure it's properly located and then make it tight with a manual screwdriver. And finally we're on to the bull fix. For this you need a 20mm spade bit, also provided with the kit. The collar presses into the plasterboard and then you need to tap the inner core of the fixing in place with a hammer, again tightening the screw into the fixing with the manual screwdriver. And we're done. All the fixings featured today worked seamlessly, the bull fix perhaps being a bit more tricky, requiring the hammer to help force the fixing open. And they all obtained a really secure fixing. It was time for the big reveal and I prise the insulation off the plasterboard with my mini utility bar from Faithful. And the end result, all the fixings have worked beautifully in spite of having to force their way open through the insulated plasterboard. You'd obviously expect the two lighter weight fixings, the Duo Power and Stella, to operate regardless of the insulation, but it's more impressive that the other three heavier duty fixings have also operated as if the insulation wasn't even there. So I think those results are pretty impressive and what's more they mirror exactly the results I got when I ran this test in that larger comprehensive plasterboard fixings run through vid. The only slight sort of doubt I need to throw into the mix about this is that this is a PIR board, the longer name for which is polyisocyanurate or something like that. And the uh, insulation that you typically get on your sort of Kingspan K118 type boards, which uh, you might have seen me featuring in one of my previous videos, is a phenolic uh, structure of insulation. And what I, the only thing I don't know is whether the phenolic and this PIR are exactly the same density of foam. They certainly seem pretty similar, but obviously if this is slightly softer, then that will throw the results a little bit. In spite of that, I'm going to say that most, if not all, of these fixings would operate pretty similarly in that board as well. 
what else to tell you about if you've uh, been watching my videos recently you'll know I've stepped in as a founder influencer on WeShop this funky new concept merging social media with shopping basically you can get 20% of the value of each order you make through the platform in shares they're giving away 90% of the uh, business to the people who shop on it I've been trying this out because I've been a little bit addicted to Amazon over the last 10 years and since using it I've buying everything from dishwasher tablets through to nail guns and uh, work platforms through it and it's great because it sort of reconnects me with British retailers and completely reduced um, my addiction to Amazon I hardly use it at all now what you also get on there is access to an exclusive collection of my own vids because I post regularly about all the things that I like using what's more if you recommend friends you get a small referral commission for that as well as I do from you if you come on board on which you can download it through the Google Play or the iTunes store you need to input my username which is Charlie White all one word and have a bit of fun let me know what you think uh, as I've said to everyone I don't know how it's going to pan out you never do with new things like this but they're hoping to list on Nasdaq in 12 months time if it really takes off and I think you have to hold your shares for a year before you can sell them bottom line you're buying stuff you would have bought anyway and you're getting shares for it so it's a bit of a no-brainer last thing and speaking of exclusive content if you want to help support me you can for a very small fee five pounds a month uh, sign up through my patreon channel to access amongst other things my discord chat forum on that forum you can speak to me daily as well as a huge number of highly skilled and enthusiastic DIYs you also get access to entry to our free monthly giveaway and lots of other exclusive content besides I'll close the link to that in the description below this video which of course is where you can find links to all the fixings that I've spoken about today you can access that on your smartphone by clicking on the little arrow and on your PC by clicking on the show more button and finally if you're new to my channel I would love to have you subscribe you can do that by clicking on the link here and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you get notified of all my future uploads see you soon